So I'm going to go through and show how to create a scatter plot with all of the information that I need. And so what you're going to do is you're going to put the atomic number on the x-axis. So I'm going to make up atomic numbers right now. One, two, three, four, let's say, for example. And then the densities, you're going to put them on your y-axis. So you're going to put them right here. So for example, four, five, six, seven, eight, or four, five, six, seven works, OK? Now what you're going to do is you're going to select this, OK? And you're going to hit insert. It might look different on your screen if you don't have a Mac, and that's totally fine. You are going to hit scatter plot. So you're going to hit scatter plot right there. And it's created a graph for you. Okay. So here's a little bit more information that you need to be able to put. Because if you just give me this, this will not do. Okay. So there are a couple things you need to do. So it might look different on your screen. Just look for some sort of add. But on mine is right here. It says add chart element. So I'm going to add axes titles. I need an x-axis and I need a y-axis. Okay, so for my x-axis, I know that it is atomic number. I'm going to put that there. There are no units for atomic number, so I'm good. Then for my y-axis, I'm going to put density. And the units for density are grams per mil. So notice I put that in parentheses to note that those are the units. Okay? For my chart title, I need to make it something that's interesting that tells the audience what I was studying. So for example, um, how to determine the density of germanium using the densities of um, other elements, for example. Okay, so create your own title, but it needs to not just be graph title or density of germanium, it needs to explain how you determined it. Okay, so what you're going to do, the only thing that's missing is my trend line. So I'm going to click on my points. Okay, and so for max, I'm going to right click on this. So I'm going to control click and it says add trend line. Sometimes for PCs, you'll see it on this side. Okay, but you need to add a trend line. Okay, so I'm going to click that, add trend line. Okay, so it's created a line that best fits all of these points. Okay, so it might not look this perfect on yours. It's totally fine. What I'm going to then do on my right hand side, if you notice, it says display equation on the chart. Okay, so here's my equation. My equation is really simplified because I just made up all my numbers. But the Y represents density and the X represents my atomic number. So now what you can do is say, okay, I know what the atomic number of germanium is. So I'm going to plug that in for X and then I can determine the density of germanium by solving for Y. Okay, so those are all the steps that you're doing. You just need to take the equation that you get from creating your best fit line, and you need to plug in the atomic number for germanium, find the density of germanium, write it out, print this graph out. Please don't have it on two different pages. It should be on one page with a proper y and x axis and a title, and that's all you need to do.